Barbecue, Wikipedia article audio. Barbecue or barbecue is both a cooking method and an apparatus slash machine. Barbecuing is done slowly over low, indirect heat and the food is flavored by the smoking process, while grilling, a related process, is generally done quickly over moderate to high direct heat that produces little smoke. Barbecue can refer to the cooking method itself, the meat cooked this way the cooking apparatus slash machine used, or to a type of social event featuring this type of cooking. Barbecuing is usually done outdoors by smoking the meat over wood or charcoal. Restaurant barbecue may be cooked in large, specially designed brick or metal ovens. Barbecue is practiced in many areas of the world and there are numerous regional variations. Etymology Associations Barbecuing techniques include smoking, roasting or baking, braising, and grilling. The original technique is cooking using smoke at low temperatures and long cooking times. Baking uses an oven to convection cook with moderate temperatures for an average cooking time of about an hour. Braising combines direct, Dry heat char broiling on a ribbed surface with a broth filled pot for moist heat. Grilling is done over direct, dry heat, usually over a hot fire for a few minutes. The English word barbecue and its cognates in other languages come from the Spanish word barbacoa. Etymologists believe this to be derived from barabacoa found in the language of the Arawak people of the Caribbean and the Demucua people of Florida, it has entered some European languages in the form of barbacoa. The Oxford English Dictionary traces the word to La Hispaniola and translates it as a framework of sticks set upon posts. Gonzalo Fernandez de Oviedo y Valdez, a Spanish explorer, was the first to use the word barbaco in print in Spain in 1526 in the Diccionario de la Lengua Española of the Real Academia Española. After Columbus landed in the Americas in 1492, the Spaniards apparently found Tainos roasting meat over a grill consisting of a wooden framework resting on sticks above a fire. The flames and smoke rose and enveloped the meat, giving it a certain flavor. Traditional barbacoa involves digging a hole in the ground and placing some meat usually a whole lamb above a pot so the juices can be used to make a broth. It is then covered with maguey leaves and coal, and set alight. The cooking process takes a few hours. Olada Equiano, an African abolitionist, described this method of roasting alligators among the mosquito people on his journeys to Cabo Gracias a Dios in his narrative The Interesting Narrative of the Life of Olada Equiano. Linguists have suggested the word barbacoa migrated from the Caribbean and into other languages and cultures, it moved from Caribbean dialects into Spanish, then Portuguese, French, and English. According to the OED, the first recorded use of the word in English was a verb in 1661, in Edmund Hickeringel's Jamaica viewed, some are slain, and their flesh forth with barbacoody and eat. The word barbecue was published in English in 1672 as a verb from the writings of John Letterer, following his travels in the North American Southeast in 1669-70. The first known use of the word as a noun was in 1697 by the British buccaneer William Dampier. In his new voyage round the world, Dampier wrote, and lay there all night, upon our borbicus, or frames of sticks, raised about three foot from the ground. Samuel Johnson S. 1756 Dictionary gave the following definitions. Styles While the standard modern English spelling of the word is barbecue, 
variations including barbecue and truncations such as barbecue or barbecue may also be found. The spelling barbecue is given in Merriam-Webster and the Oxford Dictionaries as a variant. In the southeastern United States, the word barbecue is used predominantly as a noun referring to roast pork, while in the southwestern states cuts of beef are often cooked. Because the word barbecue came from native groups, Europeans gave it savage connotations. This association with barbarians and savages is strengthened by Edmund Hickeringel's work Jamaica viewed, with all the ports, harbors, and their several soundings, towns, and settlements through its descriptions of cannibalism. However, according to Andrew Warnes, there is very little proof that Hickeringel's tale of cannibalism in the Caribbean is even remotely true. Another notable false depiction of cannibalistic barbecues appears in Theodore de Bry's Great Voyages, which in Warnes's eyes, present smoke cookery as a custom quintessential to an underlying savagery, that everywhere contains within it a potential for cannibalistic violence. Today, those in the U.S. associate barbecue with classic Americana. Southern United States British usage, barbecuing refers to a fast cooking process done directly over high heat, while grilling refers to cooking under a source of direct, moderate to high heat known in the United States as broiling. In American English usage, Grilling refers to a fast process over high heat while barbecuing refers to a slow process using indirect heat or hot smoke, similar to some forms of roasting. In a typical U.S. home grill, food is cooked on a grate directly over hot charcoal, while in a U.S. barbecue the coals are dispersed to the sides or at a significant distance from the grate. Its South American versions are the Southern Brazilian Churrasco and the Argentine Asado. In the Southern United States, barbecues initially involved the cooking of pork. During the 19th century, pigs were a low-maintenance food source that could be released to forage in woodlands. When food or meat supplies were low, these semi-wild pigs could then be caught and eaten. According to estimates, prior to the American Civil War, Southerners ate around five pounds of pork for every pound of beef they consumed. Because of the effort to capture and cook these wild hogs, pig slaughtering became a time for celebration and the neighborhood would be invited to share in the largest. In Cajun culture, these feats are called butcheries or pig pickings. The traditional southern barbecue grew out of these gatherings. Tradition and Techniques Each southern locale has its own variety of barbecue, particularly sauces. North Carolina sauces vary by region, eastern North Carolina uses a vinegar-based sauce, the center of the state uses Lexington-style barbecue, with a combination of ketchup and vinegar as their base and Western North Carolina uses a heavier ketchup base. Lexington calls itself the barbecue capital of the world, it has more than one barbecue restaurant per 1,000 residents. South Carolina is the only state that traditionally includes all four recognized barbecue sauces, including mustard-based, vinegar-based, and light and heavy tomato-based sauces. Memphis barbecue is best known for tomato and vinegar-based sauces. In some Memphis establishments and in Kentucky, meat is rubbed with dry seasoning and smoked over hickory wood without sauce. The finished barbecue is then served with barbecue sauce on the side. Barbecue Tradition in the United States the barbecue of Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee is almost always pork served with a sweet tomato-based sauce. Several regional variations exist. Alabama is known for its distinctive white sauce a mayonnaise and vinegar-based sauce originating in northern Alabama, 
used predominantly on chicken and pork. A popular item in North Carolina and Memphis is the pulled pork sandwich served on a bun and often topped with coleslaw. Pulled pork is prepared by shredding the pork after it has been barbecued. Techniques Kansas City-style barbecue is characterized by its use of different types of meat, including pulled pork, pork ribs, burnt ends, smoked sausage, beef brisket, beef ribs, smoked-slash-grilled chicken, smoked turkey, and sometimes fish a variety attributable to Kansas City's history as a center for meat packing. Hickory is the primary wood used for smoking in Kansas City, while the sauces are typically tomato-based with sweet, spicy, and tangy flavors. Pit beef prevails in Maryland and is often enjoyed at large outdoor bowl roasts, which are commonly fundraising events for clubs and associations. Maryland-style pit beef is not the product of barbecue cookery in the strictest sense, the meat is not smoked but grilled over a high heat. The meat is typically served rare with a strong horseradish sauce as the preferred condiment. Smoking the state of Kentucky, particularly western Kentucky, is unusual in its barbecue cooking, the preferred meat is mutton. This kind of mutton barbecue is often used in communal events in Kentucky, such as political rallies, county fairs, and church fundraising events. In the Midwest, Chicago style is popular, this involves seasoning the meat with a dry rub searing it over a hot grill, and cooking it slowly in an oven. The meat, typically ribs, is then finished with a sweet and tangy sauce. Barbecue remains one of the most traditional foods in the United States. While many festive foods, such as roasted turkey or ham, are usually served on particular days or holidays, barbecue can be served on any day. Barbecue is often served on the 4th of July, however, it is not only confined to that day. Barbecues tend to bring people together and serve as a bonding experience at any time of the year. It brings people back to their roots, providing a cooking experience that is often an escape from civilization and closer to nature. Barbecues are traditionally held outside. They could be small informal gatherings with a few of people in a backyard or a formal event that could last all day, typically held for larger numbers of people. Barbecue has been a tradition in the United States beginning with Native Americans. As author Andrew Warns states, its mythology of savagery and freedom, of pleasure, masculinity, and strength is part of what makes barbecues so popular to date. By the 19th century barbecues became one of the main forms of United States public celebration, especially in celebration of July 4th. As barbecues continued to be held through the times of U.S. expansion the traditions began to migrate with the people. Today, barbecues held in different regions of the country vary in cuisine but the cuisines all hold the same concept of cooking outside and over a fire. Barbecues today have taken on new meaning yet again with the emergence of competitive barbecue. Competitive barbecue competitions are held throughout the country in which people will compete by cooking barbecue and having it judged by the event's judges. The constraints of what one may barbecue and the qualities that are judged vary by competition. Usually competitions are held in big open areas where spectators will be admitted as well and barbecue is served to all. Barbecuing encompasses four or five distinct types of cooking techniques. The original technique is cooking using smoke at low temperatures usually around 240-280 degree F or 115-145 degree C and significantly longer cooking times, known as smoking. Another technique, known as baking, 
used a masonry oven or baking oven that uses convection to cook meats and starches with moderate temperatures for an average cooking time of about an hour. Braising combines direct, dry heat char broiling on a ribbed surface with a broth filled pot for moist heat. Using this technique, cooking occurs at various speeds, starting fast, slowing down, then speeding up again, lasting for a few hours. Roasting Grilling is done over direct, dry heat, usually over a hot fire over 500 degrees Fahrenheit for a few minutes. Grilling may be done over wood, charcoal, gas, or electricity. The time difference between barbecuing and grilling is because of the temperature difference, at low temperatures used for barbecuing, meat takes several hours to reach the desired internal temperature. Braising Smoking is the process of flavoring, cooking, and slash or preserving food by exposing it to smoke from burning or smoldering material, most often wood. Meat and fish are the most common smoked foods, though cheeses, vegetables, nuts, and ingredients used to make beverages such as beer or smoked beer are also smoked. To barbecue a term for dressing a whole hog, barbecue a hog dressed whole. The masonry oven is similar to a smoke pit, it allows for an open flame but cooks more quickly and uses convection to cook. Barbecue baking can also be done in traditional stove ovens. It can be used to cook meats, breads, and other starches, casseroles, and desserts. It uses direct and indirect heat to surround the food with hot air to cook, and can be basted in much the same manner as grilled foods. It is possible to braise meats and vegetables in a pot on top of a grill. A gas or electric char broil grill are the best choices for barbecue braising, combining dry heat char broil grilling directly on a ribbed surface and braising in a broth filled pot for moist heat. The pot is placed on top of the grill, covered, and allowed to simmer for a few hours. There are two advantages to barbecue braising it allows browning of the meat directly on the grill before the braising. It also allows for glazing of meat with sauce and finishing it directly over the fire after the braising. This effectively cooks the meat three times, which results in a soft, textured product that falls off the bone. The time needed for braising varies depending on whether a slow cooker or pressure cooker is used, it is generally slower than regular grilling or baking, but quicker than pit smoking. The term barbecue is also used to designate a flavor added to food items, the most prominent of which are potato chips. Other Uses